Hey there, everybody. How are you on this beautiful Tuesday morning? My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where you get your daily dose from me, whether you want it or not. I guess if you didn't want it, you wouldn't be here, right? Hey, uh, listen, do me a favor. When you get here, do what Joe has done already and Catherine. Leave me a comment and say hi. Give it a thumbs up. Wave if you're on YouTube. Uh, let's see. What are you doing, YouTube? Give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe so that you can get notifications when new shows come up. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast catcher, uh, be sure and give us a nice review so that more people can find us and join us here. And all of you, if you're not currently in the, uh, in the comments here, you need to join us over at seven minutes in the morning dot com so that you can do that. That gets you the right Facebook page and you can join the others in all the greatness. There you go. How about that for an introduction this morning? Man, I've got, I told you yesterday, I've got some great topics lined up this week and I am excited. <laughs> Sarah says she's currently in the comments. I am excited to get to today's topic, so I'm just going to jump right in uh, and have a good time with it. Yesterday, we talked about uh, one of the three C's, which is clarity. And, you know, being really clear on what it is that you want. That, I mean, that's something that I talk about all the time. In fact, I have these little cards printed up here that are all over my desk. The number one thing on there. Get really clear on what you want and why. Um, it's so important that it becomes the first question in some way that I ask every time I'm talking um, with a new or potential client. Why? What are you doing? Tell me what you're doing and why. Because without that C for clarity, we don't have the ability to have C number two, which is control, right? If we don't know what we're doing, right? Think about, I don't know, uh, the, the pack dog pulling the sled, the mule pulling the wagon, whatever analogy you want to use. They don't have any control. They don't, they don't know what the goal is. They don't understand. They might try to take control away and they'll fight against, but you know, they are constrained. So without being really clear on what you want, then you also cannot have any control over what the outcome is. You are completely at the mercy of whoever else does know the big picture, right? The, the musher, the, the wagon driver, the drover, I guess you call them. <clears throat> whatever the case may be, you are at their mercy. Now, here's a really subtle way that we give away control sometimes. All right? I'm going to tell you this so you can be on the lookout for it because it happens all the time, right? Any time that you blame someone or someone else, you're giving them control. Think about that for just a minute, right? Well, you know, my customer didn't call me back, right? So you're giving your customer control. If they didn't call you back, that means that you have given them control of the situation and you're, you're allowing them to drive the train. Okay, they didn't call you back. You can do this magical thing. I don't even have my phone laying here. Pick up your phone and call them back. How about that, right? Well, you know... The market shifted, Tom. You don't understand. Why didn't you see that? Right? Be prepared for that. Create a contingency for that. Do something different. If that market has dried up and gone away, change. Don't sit there and pout. Right? But we have this, and this goes all the way back to the Bible. Right? In the very first book of the Bible. In the very first story in the Bible. Right? Right? where Adam and Eve ate the fruit and got in trouble with God, and God came down and said, Adam, what'd you do that for? What'd Adam do? <laughs> Adam Adam actually blamed two people. He blamed Eve, and he blamed God. That woman that you gave me gave me this apple, right? So he looked at Eve. Eve, why did you do that? 
that snake made me do it. Right? They're just passing the buck. Not my fault. I'm not in control here. So if you want, if there's a particular outcome that you want, if you're happy with just whatever happening, then fine. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you want a specific result, if you want to create an outcome that is meaningful and creates opportunity and results in your life, then you have to get really clear on what it is that you want. And then you have to take control, take control for creating that result. Right. You don't. And and look, you can you can relinquish control by abstinence, by not doing anything. I'm just. It's all up to somebody else. I mean, you have to take that back. Now, how you do that? By making intentional plans and making it happen. It won't happen accidentally. You have to be intentional. Say, this is the result that I want. This is how I'm going to do it. And then execute on those things. We talk about execution all the time. Success is a result of progress. Progress is a result of execution. Right? Execution, complexity is the enemy of execution. So simplify to make it all work. Short sentences. That's why, you know, when I tell people, I'll ask people, hey, what do you do? Well, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Well, it's complicated. Well, a lot. Okay, make it simple for me. Right? If you can't explain it, how's anybody else going to do it for you? All right, there we go. Look, I'm at seven minutes already. and have a ton of comments i got to get to. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Catherine. Usually I am pretty good about warning you when you need to wear boots around the show. That's got on the roll this morning. But I've got, and, and look, tomorrow, the third C is coming up tomorrow. There's clarity, there's control, and then there's tomorrow. you got to be back tomorrow to find out what the third C is. Um, there might be, there might be a little bit of toe stomping. Nah, not stomping, lightly stepping on toes tomorrow. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll be happy to know, you'll be happy to know that I posted my focus yes first thing you see every time i sit down at my desk right here right across the bezel of the monitor right there that's a great place to put it or on your laptop right there and yep and yep 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 that woman you gave me yeah that was that was a pretty bold reply all right Everybody, thanks for being here this morning. Thanks for uh, letting me share this with you. I hope that, that I, it, mm, I know it's challenging. I hope that it is helpful, right? And by giving you these little things to look out for, be on the lookout for every day. Hope that you can see when these things are happening because being able to see them is the first step to being able to change them, right? Um, if If we don't realize what's happening to us, then there's no way that we can take that control back. It is Tuesday. That means the radio show is coming up at the top of the hour. Do tune in for that. Talk radio for entrepreneurs.com. Get you the right place. Uh, that's it. That's all I'm going to... Uh, is that all? Yeah, that's all. Oh, no. One more thing. I, and I, Hey, I'm going to... I have a commercial. I'm going to run a commercial during the... Uh, <laughs> during the radio show this morning. I'll give you a quick heads up on that. Coffee and coaching. We, uh, uh, my friend Stephen Levy and I did a session a couple of weeks ago, and uh, the response was clear. We need to have more of those, so we have them scheduled up. First one is coming up uh, September the 6th. I think that's next week, next Thursday. So if you're interested in that, go to coffeeandcoaching.us, coffeeandcoaching.us, get you the right place, and tune in to the radio show today to watch our commercial that we have put together for it. And it's kind of a commercial. It's kind of cool. Tune in and watch that. That's at the uh, top of the hour, 8 o'clock. I'm going to hustle and get down there. I'll talk to you guys from down there. You have a great day. See you back here again tomorrow.